little fellow with chopperoos. The big chopperoo and Safety Dan here. Hey. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to make this folding book stand. Now, this book stand was first made by Andre Rubo back in the 1700s. What's great about this is the whole thing is made from one single piece of wood, including this hinge. Best of all, I'm going to show you how to make this using just hand tools. Really? Why am I even here? It's all hand tools. You don't need any of this shit. Andre Rubo lived from 1739 to 1791, and he was a carpenter, a cabinet maker, and an author. He wrote the book, The Art of the Joiner, and this folding book stand is just one of many projects in it. Now, it's not really clear if he's the designer of this, but he is given credit for it because it first appears in his book. Well, all right, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get building. I'll begin by finding the center of the board on the edge grain. Then I'll form a 90 degree square so that the corners intersect that line. Transfer those corners up to the face of the board and then make the lines all the way across. With a pair of dividers, segment it in an odd number. I used five. Do this on both sides and shade in the areas alternating each other. The shaded area is what we will chisel out. I like to score the line with my chip carving knife. This makes a nice shoulder for my chisel to rest in. Now I just chisel down to that middle line. Do this for all those shaded areas. Now with my rip saw, I just have to saw down that middle line. It's sawing, and more sawing, and even more sawing. Did I mention that there's some sawing involved? When sawing, be careful as you approach that hinge area. You don't want to go too far. Then with a little pressure, it should just snap open. Now I'll use my hand plane and just remove those saw marks. And I'll use a cross-cutting saw here just to take off some of the front. I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to make the shape and pattern that I want to have on my book stand. After I trace the lines on there, I'll just use my coping saw and cut it out.
I like to use a little spoke shave just to clean up those rough edges. Now you can decide to make any kind of shape or pattern that you want onto your book stand. I decided to add a rosette and this little edging profile. Now the exact tools and the technique to make this, well, I figure it's just too in-depth and too much. So I'm thinking about doing it for another episode. But for now, here's a brief outline of how I did it. So first I'll just shape the pattern with my pencil and get it to the size and look that I want. Then I'll go around the outline of the pattern with different size gouges. Using a smaller gouge, I'll relieve some of the background of it. Then I'll use a small little sweep and dig down into each one of the petals, creating a concave shape. And for just a little bit of extra detail, I'll use a veiner right down the middle of each one of those petals. The final touch is I like to use a stipple punch and go around in all the background. And voila! Praise the Lord! To do the profile edging, I'm just using a little V-gouge. Last but not least, I'm going to do a little staining and some finish. I'm using a white bond stain and I finished it off with some Danish oil. Now I didn't want to use any kind of finish that was too thick like a polyurethane or shellac because I was worried about it flaking off when it was opened and closed. So there you are, a fun little project that you can do on a Saturday afternoon. And whether you want to use it as a book stand or if you're more of a modern day gadget guy, you can use your tablet and watch your favorite episode of Wood Chopping Time. Man, I've seen that show. It's stupid. But that's you and me. Well, if you like what you saw today, subscribe to us on YouTube. Or you can join us on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget about our blog. Well, there's one more thing that I gotta do. Chad, I think it's time for you to dance. Oh, yeah. Support for this program provided by And you can either use it for your book to no stupid 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 start over. <sighs> Let me try this one more time. I decided to add this rosette as well as this little edge banding. No, it's not edge banding. I don't have the project. Exactly how to make this rosette? No, I think I'm going to want to say that again. Including the hinge is made from one piece of wood. <laughs> Play that back and look at it once.